Hi, I'm Madison and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a week in my life vlog for you. So, um, I've never filmed one of these before. I filmed a day in my life previously, but I've never done like a week in my life. And the reason why I've decided to do this is just because um, my reading has actually been really shit for the month of March, to be quite honest with you. I have read one book <laughs> and I just started another book last night that I'm 20% into, but it's just it's just not this, this month for me, clearly. It's currently uh, March 6th and it is 2.51 p.m. I'm on my lunch break currently. My lunch break ends in nine minutes and I actually have a meeting <laughs> in nine minutes too. So uh, this is gonna go too long as an introduction. But uh, basically I thought it could be kind of interesting just to kind of film a week in my life because I feel like I've never done this and I thought maybe you guys would be interested to see what I do. Uh, each of my weeks does vary, but my week this week is a little more social than normal because one of my goals for 2023 is to be more social, to go out more, to meet more friends and not just make, as much as I love making content, I feel like I have always put like social things on the back burner because I'm like, oh, I should be reading, I should be making content, I should be doing this, this and this and not like going out and doing that kind of stuff. And I kind of want to make a change from that to kind of have a little bit more balance in my life um, because I do work in book publishing. so. It's a lot to work from like 9.30 in the morning until 6.30 p.m. at night on books and then literally work all the time outside of work also on books. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I was going to start this vlog this morning to kind of give you guys more of a well-rounded view, but I slept in by accident until 9 a.m., um, which was not ideal. I normally wake up at like 8, 8.20, but I was up until 4 a.m. last night because I was up until 2 filming content, filming YouTube videos because I bulk film once a month, uh, all my like other content that's non-vlog related. And so that was until 2 a.m. And then I was kind of just like kind of wired and couldn't fall asleep. So I read 20% of Pucked Up Pack uh, by Sarah Blue last night. So that was kind of nice that I picked up a new book and I'm reading something. I'm enjoying it so far, but I'm in a bit of a funk currently. And so I'm really hoping that this does pull me out of it, but I'm gonna keep trying new things. Um, we'll see how the reading goes. I don't know how strong my reading is gonna be this week, tonight. Um, after work, I'm basically going to be editing videos for this week. So I'll edit my Tuesday and my Friday video after work tonight. And yeah, I, I will just kind of give you guys a play by play as each day goes. Um, but I need to literally stop my lunch break now because otherwise I'm going to be screwed. Hello. Oh God. Let me try and get some, some lighting. I'm going to stand in my, in my bathroom right now. Just to let you guys know. So uh, I, at seven o'clock, I literally just finished work. I was just on the phone to my mom as well for the last couple of minutes. Um, just catching up with her. So I just put on some rice because I'll be having some rice and stir fry tonight. But um, well, I also brushed my hair out, which actually made it look a lot nicer. I don't know why I didn't think about brushing it out earlier. Like it looks really nice now, regardless. Um, not too bad of a day at work, pretty chill. I feel like the rest of the week's gonna be a bit busy. Mondays tend to be kind of the more chill days for me since like all like the leadership people are in meetings. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, Gonna hang out. Here's a, uh, here's your baby Zelda. She's so chillin'. Hi, hi. Yeah, I know. You doing good, baby? I know. Uh, I actually need to clean out her little box today, which I'm not looking forward to because it's always a pain in the ass. But I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna cook, uh, watch some Abbott Elementary, and then when I have dinner, I'm actually gonna be watching. What am I? What am I watching right now? Strangers Again, I think is the K-drama I'm currently watching. It's a really good one. It's like not too romance heavy. It's almost like a law procedural romance drama. It's very cool. Um, but I'm watching that currently, so I'm gonna do that now. And yep, I need to actually put my camera with my laptop so I can download the footage and export. Well, what is it called? Optimize? It has to like optimize. So like if the video is like 30 minutes long, it has to optimize for 30 minutes before I can even edit it, which is like a whole process, so. Yes. So I'm gonna use my phone just to kind of show you guys this. So like the <laughs> camera quality is not gonna be great, but just so you guys kind of know what it's like when I edit videos. Um, first off, I sit here in bed and Zelda always sits right next to me. But basically I use this program called uh, Movavi because I have a you know regular Microsoft laptop. And I basically put the video in. So like, and now it's gonna sit here and it's going to optimize the HD clip. So. This is like almost like a 32, well it's a 32 minute like raw footage right now and it'll optimize and once it's done optimizing I can properly edit it so when it's finished optimizing it will give me like all the like little 
audio down here and then I'll be able to like edit it without like stopping and starting but I literally can't like do anything else on my laptop while it does this so I'm literally gonna put my laptop over here then I'm gonna grab my kindle right here open this up and keep reading one pucked up pack okay so I thought I would show you now that it's uh finished oh hi baby finished optimizing so now that you can see it's like all the I really wish that I didn't have to film this on my phone but like as you can see like now all the words are here and oh sold up baby please don't headbutt bruh bruh do not headbutt me while I'm trying to show people what I do in my day you know it's not high quality but it's what I've got to work with right now I always go to the front let's see how long it baby seriously hi I'm Madison and welcome back to my channel today I have my fuck what month is it <laughs> <laughs> if anyone's wondering, that actually happens every single month. And Hi, then... Madison, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my February reading wrap-up. Alright, so I fucked around and it's like 12.56 in the morning and I just finished editing it, so I'm going to start exporting it now, which we'll see how long this is supposed to take. I'm still going to actually edit also the other video. My, uh, what's going up on Friday? It's my duet recommendations, which I did, ec um, optimize. So that, that has finished optimizing. So I just have to open it now and I can go straight into editing it. Um, but this probably will say that it's going to take like 25 minutes ish. Although like for some reason it's going really slow and that's not okay. Like, why are you doing that to me? <gasps> there we go. No. Oh my God. What is that? Go down. Please go down. Oh, thank the gods. Okay. So I'm actually gonna go, like, take off my makeup now, um, and get ready for bed, because I'm tired. Okay. So, here is me deciding which photo, ooh, photo I want to go with for my thumbnail for this. I've also, ooh, that's not it. Um, I've also decided that I'm not gonna edit the video tonight, because it's 1.30 in the morning, and I'm just too tired, so I'll probably edit the other video on my, like, lunch break. I like how my, ooh, I like this one the most. I'm gonna go with this one. And this is the journey I go through trying to figure out what font I would like for this video. This is probably one of the most time consuming portions of this. Ooh, I kind of like that one. Um, is figuring this bit out because it is quite honestly always a, I don't mind that. I kind of feel like that's a fun, a fun vibe. Ooh. Ooh, no, I don't like that one. Yes, yeah, so I'll figure it out. <laughs> a little more behind the scenes. This is just me, obviously, uploading the video. I've added in the title, uh, increased the description a little bit there, obviously added in all the books that I've mentioned in this as well, and then upload the thumbnail and chose the playlist it's going to be at, and then I'll just keep kind of going across all the different steps. Um, should be done hopefully 25 minutes. It is currently, oh my god, I'm running out of battery, 146. So I'm actually, once I have this, like, basically all set up, I'm just gonna plug my laptop in and, like, leave it at the corner of my bed to, like, upload overnight, and I'm just gonna go to bed. So there's my video I'm putting over there, and I'm just gonna piece off to bed. <laughs> Good morning, it's me, completely just unfiltered. It's, uh, 9am, I just got up, like, 15 minutes ago, because I slept in. Again, thanks to being up so late. Um, I'm about to jump on the bike. I'm gonna not include clips of me this morning. I'll include clips of me working yesterday morning because I just don't have the time to film myself this morning working out because I have a meeting from 10.30 to 11 and then another meeting from 11 to 12. And then I have a break from 12 to one and then from one to two and then two to three I have another meeting and then I've, I don't even know what the rest of my day is like, but basically I've got a busy morning so I need to make sure I get everything together. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just drinking a whole thing of water right now. I've had this water bottle since like freshman year of college, I think. And it's just full of warm water. And I'm gonna drink this and then I'll work out, so. Good morning. If you're wondering how my morning is currently going, it is not great because Zelda. Um, Zelda threw up this morning as soon as I finished that clip and went to go work out. She had thrown up right by the bike, so I had to go clean that up, which was fabulous. Um, and then just now I spilt my entire water bottle all over my desk, which was just, you know, fabulous. So I had to clean that up. Um, and my meeting is in approximately six minutes. So I did, you know, have a chance to shower my body, but like, I feel like I just look like a mess. I'm, you know, wearing my little overthinker sweatshirt, but, um, I just made myself some protein drink. It's just in water today because I don't have the time to make it with like oats, which is what I sometimes normally do, but 
that's how my morning is going. Not great. <laughs> okay, so it is, what time is it? It's 1.50 p.m. I actually just looked at the agenda for the meeting that is at two o'clock and I actually need to be at it for like a specific portion of it. So I'm actually going to take my lunch break now um, cause I didn't actually get to take it earlier because one of my meetings ended up getting pushed and then it ended up being like, I only had 15 minutes between all the meetings until now. And so I have not had time to have lunch. So I'm about to have lunch now and do that. But that's quite often how a lot of my days go with meetings. I've got a lot of things to do. We've had, it's a Tuesday. So a lot of books get published on Tuesday. So it's a big day for that for me. Um, and basically, yes, the only good thing <laughs> It's a good end band thing. My friend who I was supposed to get drinks with tonight just canceled because she's feeling unwell. So I was looking forward to going out and like chilling with her, but at the same time, I'm also just really glad I have a night in now as like an excuse to like not have to worry about like going out. My hair is also, oh, I could have washed my hair. I've kept my hair so I could go out tonight, whatever. Um, I wash my hair like once a week and it's on the day that I don't work out. So I work out Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Fridays. And then on Wednesdays, I don't work out in the morning and I wash my hair instead. Um, as like a fun fact, if anyone was wondering. So when I have lunch now, I'm starving, starving. So yeah, and I'm gonna watch, ooh, I think I caught up with Abbott Elementary. So I might watch the newest episode of Love Island. I don't know, we'll see how I feel. and I just finished work so I'm going to make some pasta right now which is going to be some rigatoni and then I'm going to read a little bit and then maybe write if I feel like it so we'll see mm. <laughs> long days my dudes long days that's that's my life oh have I shown you guys my flowers look how pretty they are my friend Kat got them for me and I thought that they were so nice and pretty. That's also my cat food next to it. But look how pretty these flowers are. They've lasted like a solid, almost a, no, not a week. I got them last Thursday, Friday, so. They're really nice and pretty and I love them a lot, so, yes. Good morning. So it's currently 8.45. Um, I got up like 15 minutes ago. Well, to be quite honest, I actually woke up at like 6 a.m. because, fun fact, I went to bed at like 11 p.m. last night. I was falling asleep while reading and I just honestly was not having like a great, mental health night um and so i don't know i just wasn't really feeling it i'm still kind of like in a bit of a funk so i'm gonna do like a 10 minute arm workout right now um seriously it's 8 45 in the morning anyway i'm just on the peloton but yeah no i'll, I'll see if i feel like talking about it a little bit more i actually had not only were my plans for last night cancelled but um my plans for friday night have also been cancelled um which sucks because like you're trying to make friends and trying to do shit and people fucking like it's fine but it's not fine at the same time you know you know so life guys life i am just a bit frustrated right now and there's other things going on that like i'm not going to talk about on like this because they're just personal things but you know sometimes things just suck and what are you really going to do about it you know so i'm probably going to do i might do like actually a 15 minute ride and a 10 minute arms and then i actually should still have time to wash my hair before work this morning so keep you guys updated i'm actually going to do this 15 minute pick me up ride with hannah corbin which i've never done before but i've seen her that she does these a lot and she's like a very like happy like positive person so i think this kind of like Hopefully get me into like a pretty solid mindset. Um, so I'm gonna do this plus like an arm workout. I just wanna look beautiful for you guys all the time, clearly. Um, so I just got out of the shower. I had my shower wash my hair like as soon as I got off the bike. I had like a bunch of early work messages I actually had to get through. So I got distracted and ended up working for like 45 minutes <laughs> when I wasn't planning to. Um, and so I just finished washing my hair and had my shower. I'm actually making some oats right now because I've got a couple meetings until I think like 1.30, 2-ish, 2-ish today. So that's when I'll be having um, 
lunch. I actually feel a lot better now since uh, working out, which I think is really nice. I kind of feel like I'm in a bit of a better mood. And it definitely, oh, my oats are done. Um, it just really depends. I, I'm in a very transitional period in my life, it feels like at the moment. And there's a lot of just like things that I'm like thinking of doing or wanting to do. And I'm just a little bit stressed out and I'm, I'm an overthinker. It's just who I am as a person. I will always overthink everything. It's what I've always done. Um, and you know, I'm a very like extroverted person, but an introverted person, like my personality is all over the shop to be quite honest with you guys. Um, and so yeah, I don't, I don't know. I've got some plans. I've got the option this week technically to like grab drinks with a couple of dudes, but like, it's also such an effort and like, I hate dating to be quite honest. <laughs> I just hate meeting people on apps. It's like my least favorite thing in the entire world. I don't know if anyone else feels that way, but I really do hate it. So there's that. I definitely want to go get my nails done. I think getting my nails done will really make me feel a lot better. I was supposed to get them done last weekend, but didn't because I got like distracted by everything else I was supposed to do. And so I definitely want to get my nails done. I might actually do that tomorrow. Um, tomorrow or Saturday, I'll do it probably is my, my current guess. But I do think changing my nails will kind of give me a little bit more oomph in my step in my life. Um, but yeah, so I only read up to 50% last night of one pucked up pack, which I haven't even explained to you guys yet, but I will eventually. And I'm really enjoying it. It's just, I literally had to put it down because I was just getting so in my head and so just like kind of sad about some things that are going on currently for me. And so I just think that like really happy romances are not where it's at for me mentally right now. Like I kind of want something that's like either super dark or just like, a flat out fantasy or something else just because like reading super happy romances is just not you know I don't really know if I'm feeling that <laughs> it's making me sad about my own romantic life you know it's not the, not the opposite right now and so I don't know we'll see but I've got a couple of meetings today so I'm gonna have my oats right now while I answer a couple of emails before we have some work meetings in like 15 minutes um and yes that's that's it my skin is looking very lovely but um I also just got my period too, which like probably says a lot. <laughs> well, that's my little update. This is definitely more of just like a life vlog. Oh. Hi. A life vlog than a reading vlog. I know, I'm not giving you enough room to do anything. What are you doing? Hi. Come and give mommy a kiss. Kiss, kiss, kiss. I know, my little head butt baby. Okay, I gotta go, bye. <laughs> You know, I wish there was a way to make like protein oats look pretty, but these just look sad. Hello, it is me. Um, it's currently 6.15. I'm actually going to head out now to go get my nails done because I decided that that is what I currently deserve to go get done. Um, do I know what I'm gonna do for my nails? No. I also haven't been to this place in like ages. It was like one of the first places I went to when I first moved here. Um, but I haven't been back since. So we'll see what it's like. I had a really busy day at work, like super, super busy. Um, so this is my first time getting to update you guys since this morning, but I'm excited. I just chucked on like a brown sweater and you know some shoes and stuff. I don't know why I'm bothering to show you guys, but yes, it's cold out. Um, I'll let you guys know what I'm deciding and I'm excited. I'm also going to do some beta reading while I'm getting my nails done because I can read that on my phone. Oh, and if you're wondering why my hair looks like this after I literally washed it just today, I literally, after I washed it, um, put it into two plaits, so two braids, um, for the last like what since like it's now six o'clock so since around about like what i want to say 1130 today so like the last like six hours it was in that and then it just goes like this and that's what my hair does i also have like no makeup on except for my like mascara so i feel like my my skin's like really red at the moment but i'm not gonna bother putting makeup on just to go get my nails done because i don't like to put things on my skin if i don't need to you know um yeah, I don't know why I'm doing it. I need to go. I need to go. <laughs> we are going to ignore the fact that for some reason my nose is kind of, my whole face is just red right now. It's actually really hot in my apartment. I forgot to turn the heating off and I was just sat here slowly boiling and boiling away. Um, which is why my face is also super oily. It's currently one in the morning. Um, oh good god. <laughs> my tea's stuck. Oh my god, hang on. <gasps> my tea is, ooh, there we go. Oh my, that would have been so bad if that spilled. This is like a massive mug of tea. Right, if you're wondering what I did all night, I got back from getting my nails done at around 7.40ish and then made dinner. Dinner, probably finished eating everything around 8.39ish and then from 9 till like 
I want to say 12, I either fucked around, watched a bit more TV, or I actually spent like at least a solid hour or two applying to the New York housing lottery, which if you don't know what that is, I don't really know how to explain it either, but like it's something that I just found out about because my co-workers did it, but you can basically, depending on what your average income is of the year, you can apply for housing and like a certain percentage of like new buildings that get built have to have like a certain quota of people within a certain like monetary bracket and from certain areas. I don't really know how it works. But basically, it means that that person can live in a newer place where the rent is normally much higher, but at a reduced rent cost. So an apartment that would normally go for like, say, $4,000, you would actually get for like maybe 1900 so i applied to like seven of those tonight because i'm struggling <laughs> and then i just finished making the thumbnail for friday's video because i edited friday's video during lunch today on my break did get my nails done i'll show you guys them better tomorrow in the sun but i'm really happy with how they look and yeah i was gonna read tonight but it's like one in the morning although i'm not really tired and so because I'm not tired, I'll probably read maybe until like 2 a.m. and then wake up. I have a, I'm going out for drinks with this guy tomorrow night at like 8. I met him last week at my friend's birthday party, so we'll see. And then I think my plans this weekend, I'm hopefully going to maybe catch up with a friend who cancelled on Friday night for like coffee this weekend. But if not, I um, don't really know what I'm planning on doing. I do want to write this weekend though, because that's what I decided today was that I'm going to spend either Sunday or Sunday, one of the days this week, just fully writing. Um, I'm currently at 20,000 words in my manuscript, so, you know, uh, we shall see. But yeah, I'm going to go wash my face, take off my makeup because I just feel very oily right now, and then basically read for the rest of the night. I'm going to continue drinking my tea actually before I get ready for bed because I don't want don't to brush my teeth and then drink my tea. I'm drinking dandelion root tea. I've been drinking roasted dandelion root tea for around about uh, six, seven weeks now, every night before I go to bed, and I really like it. Well, every night I go to bed that I remember to drink it. And I don't know, I think it's really nice and it's good, and I don't know. Do I remember what it does for you? No, but it's something good digestion wise, so. Um, that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, bye. Hello, I realized I actually haven't shown you guys like what I do um, when I get ready for bed, basically, which I mean it varies like on nights that I wear makeup, I double cleanse, and if I'm not wearing any makeup, I don't double cleanse, but basically, A, I put my hair up, grab my beautiful bangs, and I do this beautiful little clippy style with them so I look super sexy, <laughs> um, and then I'm almost out, but I use this, uh, this oil-based cleanser here. I get some of this out. I'll use more if I have like a full face of makeup on, but since I only have my eyes and my eyebrows that I used makeup on today, basically just pour the oil on my hands and I rub gently, like not like aggressively rub, because that would be like stupid. But it basically just like helps to melt the makeup off. I've been using this oil-based cleanser for like, god, how many years now? Like, shit, at least like three, four years I've been using this oil-based cleanser. And I've been using the same actual cleanser that you'll see in a second for like, <laughs> like six, seven years now. And then you get water and you wash it off very roughly. And then, I'll grab this, I keep it in my shower because I use it in the morning because I cleanse every morning. I use my, uh... Derma E Hydro Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. And I've been using this exact same gentle cleanser for years now. I do like a small pump of it. I emulsify it in my hands beforehand all the time. So like it gets like silky, bubbly, whatever. And then I put that all over my face. Oh my gosh, life at the moment. I will then wash it. Well, rinse it off. You know, you, you know what I mean. Like, come on. <laughs> the drama face. And normally I would put my uh, stuff on right now. I literally, I don't know about you guys, if you wear mascara and stuff, you get like these mascara eye boogies every time. Anyway, I'm brushing my teeth now, which I'm not gonna like 
explain to people because it's brushing your fucking teeth. If you don't know how to brush your teeth, like, brosky. Now, if I was a good person, I would own, um, what's it called? Tooth floss? But I don't because I'm cheap and every single time I go to buy tooth floss, it's too expensive and I don't buy it. Anyway, so normally I just use my ultra hydrating overnight dream cream from Acure, but because I am going out tomorrow night uh, and I'll be wearing makeup and stuff, I actually, like my face, my face is kind of pale at the moment. I actually use this stuff here, which is like a self tanning drops that you use, but it sells face and body, but I've never once in my life used it on my body and I think that's kind of strange. Probably use this self tanning face stuff like maybe once a week and basically what I do is I get a small amount of my face cream. I use one, two, three drops of it. Don't use more than that. One of the first times I, but I, my mum uses this a bunch. Um, well, she used to, but then she found that it clogged her pores and doesn't use it anymore. But when she did use it a bunch, I borrowed it once and I didn't know how much she was supposed to use and used a shit ton and my face turned much, much darker than I expected. Um, I also think this stuff just smells really nice but you have to be super like diligent with how you rub it into your skin there was one time i didn't like pay enough attention and kind of like half assed putting on my moisturizer and then i had like splotchy patches from the self tanning stuff which was just like so not it. And then always make sure you wash your hands afterwards with soap, otherwise you will get like the regular like tan marks in the hands that happen. But uh, that is my beauty hack. I like my skin naturally to be quite honest, because um, I'm very fortunate in that way and sometimes I just feel like the only thing that I don't like is that my face is so much more paler than like my shoulder, like the rest of my body. Like you can even clearly see right now, like my body just tans, but obviously I don't tan my face in the sun because that is called wrinkles and skin cancer so um that is why i like to use this stuff because basically it can then tan my face and my face looks darker and like the rest of my skin and then that looks like i'm actually alive because otherwise i feel like when my face looks like paler than the rest of my body i look like i'm like dead and sick you know vibes so that is it uh my hair is still you know as it is but i'll curl it tomorrow night before i go out and that is my nighttime routine. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Good morning. It is such nice weather. Oh, God. You know, I'm going to go actually in the other room right now because, yeah, that'd be life. Um, it is, oh, what time is it actually? It's 11.30 in the morning. Um, I worked out this morning and as, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like my skin is like a bit darker. I also do like 100% like have my period today. So my skin is breaking out a little bit, which is standard. I did read last night. I know I still have not updated you on one packed up pack because I am enjoying it. But I do think the problem is that because I did read a solid chunk of it while I was mentally <laughs> not all there. It has impacted my enjoyment of this book and I feel like I could have... Like, I'm, I even, like, skipped sex scenes because I was just, like, I don't want to read about people being happy. <laughs> that being said, like, last night got to the whole, like, super emotional part of it all and, like, all that. And I was just, like, super vibing and I love that part of it. So, you know, questions. But I'll get to that later. Anyway, my plans, obviously, tonight I'm still supposed to go on and get drinks with some dude. Not some dude. With this dude um, at 8 p.m. Anyway, I hope you can't hear it, but I'm currently boiling water because I'm I like to drink warm water because I'm weird like that um I have to run an errand today I have to go to UPS to return a package that's basically it but it's such a nice day out like I'm super vibing with it and I hope it's nice this weekend too because I might just go out just in general on Saturday and just kind of vibe with myself I feel like this weekly vlog has almost become a diary journal basically this is going to be very interesting to edit. I honestly, like, I don't even, oh, I don't even know anymore, guys. <laughs> um, did have a good night's sleep, though, even though I went to bed super late. So, and I need to put on lip balm. My lips are super dry. Oh, I can show you guys my nails finally. Hang on. There we go. Now you can see. So you see how there's like a pink 
chrome to them. It's really cool. And they're not like white white, they're more of like a pearl white, which is like what I wanted because I wanted them to kind of look creamy. So they're really dupe. And yeah. All right. All right, I gotta go back to work because I just took a quick break to come talk to you guys. And yeah, good boy. Hello, it is uh, currently two o'clock. Um, I'm about to head out and buy bread because I'm out of bread. So I'm gonna go across the street and go do that. And then I'm also going to go to UPS to do that return I was gonna say. I was gonna do yesterday and then never did. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll just do it tomorrow when I go buy my bagel. And then I was like, fuck, no, I can't do that. I gotta go do the return today because that's what the fuck Amazon says. So I'm gonna go do that return now. Um, how did my nut go last night? Great. <laughs> I can't believe I'm filming this shit. It's, what time is it? 9.06 a.m. And I just got back. <laughs> no, I had a really good night last night. Uh, got back this morning, obviously. I'm starving right now. I ate when I got back. I had some porridge this morning, but obviously did not work out this morning either, which is fine. I'm just gonna work out tomorrow instead um, cause well, I can do that cause it's my own schedule. Not too busy of a day at work. Yesterday was really, really busy at work. Like, uh, well, I can actually say it here because ne by next Friday, you guys will know this, but basically Elle Kennedy decided that she's going to be revealing her new book, which I've known about for ages, but um, she's revealing it on Thursday, which is yesterday for you guys, but today, it, next week for me. Um, and so I literally had to do all this work yesterday to prep for that since it's in a week um, and make sure that accounts know, that the metadata goes out, covers, all that jazz. So it was just super busy yesterday because that was dropped on me at like, I want to say like 2.30 p.m. Um, so like the rest, like I literally came back from like my lunch break and I was like, ah, this is all going on. So, yep. Okay, I'm too hungry. I'm going to go deal with this shit. Good boy. <laughs> I'm so pissed off right now. I don't watch this K drama. What the actual fuck? I just spent 12 episodes watching a K drama called Strangers Again, where they end up being strangers again. They don't even end up together. What a fucking, I'm so, what the fuck? I thought this was a romance. And they don't even end up to. What the fuck? I'm so pissed off right now. I also decided to stay in tonight. Um, since it's raining, I don't really feel like going out and hanging out with people while it's raining. So I think instead I want to go out tomorrow and do something. I'm so annoyed right now. It's not even funny, whatever. I'm gonna read now anyway, but like, what the fuck? I'm so annoyed. I'm actually so annoyed. Mm. Good morning, everyone. I'm just on the the Peloton right now. Um, I'm just picking my class this morning. It's currently 11.21 a.m. So I put my hair in like a little plait last night, which obviously comes out during the night and ends me up looking like <laughs> all this. Um, did I read it all last night? No, because I started watching like 17 different K-dramas to try and find the next one I wanted to watch and therefore didn't actually read anything. However, I do plan to obviously finish the book today. Maybe going out with a friend um, to grab coffee with her, the friend who I was supposed to hang out with last night, we might be hanging out to get coffee today, but we'll see if that pans out. Then I might get drinks tonight with someone, but we'll really see how I feel. After I work out, I'm going to go get ready I'm gonna figure out what my Aritzia returns are and then I'm gonna go buy my weekend blueberry bagels, do my Aritzia return and maybe head to Sephora because I just ran out of my um, lip liner, which I use as like a full blown like lipstick to be quite honest with you guys, um, which is, it's a rare beauty one. It's like in the shade Humble, I think it is. It's, it's the lip liner that I wear like in all my like sit down videos, basically. Um, so that's my current plan for today is to read, do errands, and we'll see what really ends up happening. So keep you guys appraised and yeah. <laughs> uh, this is the ride I'm gonna do this morning. I love doing a Kendall tour ride at least once a week because she is so badass and her rides are pretty like intense, which I really enjoy. High up in the sky. So 
I'm just literally stretching right now, but I figured while I'm stretching that I would talk to you guys about um one pucked up pack. Where's my phone? Because I can't remember what the girl's name is, and it's really annoying me. Because I remember the guy's names. The guys are Anders, Eli, and Michael, but I'm sitting here, and I'm like, what the hell is... I feel like it's like... Is it Charlotte? Her name's Charlotte. Ma, fucking... Anyway. So you've got Charlotte. Charlotte is an Omega. Um, she has not been able to find her scent matches or anything. She's just, you know, alone Omega. Um, she goes to university and she's coming home for winter break and her mum lives in Vermont. So she's going back to Vermont. Then you've got Anders, Eli and Michael. Anders is Finnish. His whole family is like a very traditional pack family. And he came from Finland to the US to do hockey in college. Um, he's a goalie. He's super lovable, super sweet, like big, like teddy bear. But then you've got Eli and Eli is the team captain. He comes from an extremely rich family. His mum and dad are super neglectful and he is like a superstar, like golden boy, amazing uh, hockey player. And then you've got Michael and Michael comes from a really shit family. His family sucks titties. Um, he doesn't have much money either. He doesn't really have anything really to him except for hockey and he's, defensive, def he's on the defensive line whatever the fuck it is, fuck you, I don't actually know the rules. And the three of them are about to get drafted to the NHL, or they hope to get drafted. They're all, you know, trying to do it with their agent. And they are coming to spend um, winter break at Eli's family's Vermont home. All of them end up like meeting because Charlotte's on the ice, ice skating, the three guys are practicing hockey drills and then a rogue puck ends up hitting her in the tit and she goes down and like hits her head in the eyes and gets concussed. It is honestly hilarious, I died. It was the funniest shit in the entire world, I was like, <laughs> I was like, what the fucking odds, bro? Um, and so they end up taking her back to the cabin to like look after her and they end up finding out that they're all scent matches. Now that basically means that they're like supposed to be like fated mates. Eli and Anders are like freaked out by this. They're like, oh my God, we found our scent match. Like this is crazy. Michael, however, is like, I don't want to deal with this shit. This is a problem. This is a no-no zone. Like I don't want an Omega. Like an Omega is going to ruin everything. Like everyone knows that you can't be, you know, in the NHL and have a pack because you're constantly traveling, you're never together. We don't even know if we're all gonna get drafted to the same team. We could be drafted all over the country. What do you want Charlotte to do? Fucking fly every week to spend a week with us, like everywhere. Like it's just unrealistic. And so he's super against it. Yeah, that's what this is about. It's about these three guys who are hockey players and this girl and you know, drafting to the NHL, kind of how everything goes from there. That's the basic gist of it. It's almost like four or 500 pages this book. I'm actually really enjoying it overall right now. Like it's a really good Omegaverse book. I just feel like, as you guys know, like I have been in a, oh, <laughs> I have been in a bit of a uh, reading slump. It's just, it's an overall, it's a good book. I would definitely check it out. It's not like obviously like my favorite Omegaverse and not like my favorite Omegaverse from Sarah Blue, but I do think that part of that does obviously come from the fact of me mentally not being all there when I was starting this and just kind of being in a bit of a reading slump lately. Oh my God, trying to stretch and talk at the same time is actually not as easy as I expected it to be. All right, I'm gonna go have a shower and get the rest of my shit done today. All right, so um, slight change of plans. Um, my friend literally texted me 10 minutes ago and was like, hey, actually, can we meet? It's currently like one, it's 1.50. She's like, can we meet at like 2.20? Um, if you're free and I was like, yeah, sure sounds good. Not like I'm in the middle of getting ready or anything. So I literally Had just finished like recurling my hair like very loosely. So it's not even like properly done. I literally just threw on my Skin tint. This is what I wear as like my foundation if anyone's wondering is this YSL Skin tinty stuff. Oh fucking I can't even. I don't have the time. I don't have the time people. I don't have the time. I have a timer going on right now that'll probably go off in like two minutes being like, bitch, you need to fucking leave like now. Oh. I'm like not even doing proper makeup even though I want to because oh my god if I end up going out tonight my makeup actually needs to be proper. But if I'm going out pretty chill like I am right now. Fuck, shit. <laughs> You know what, all that matters is that I get on mascara eyeliner. This video clip is probably not even that good. Ah, cut out! <laughs> welcome, welcome to This Is Me. I don't even know why I decided to film right now. Doesn't make any sense. Whatever. 
It's a good thing I love myself. You know, that's, that's the main thing. Honestly, there are so many people in this world who do not have confidence in themselves. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how many people say that they love you or they admire you. If you don't love yourself first, like, and it, I know it's like such a cliche thing to say, but it really is true. Like you need to think that you are an absolute bad bitch and that no one else fucking like, you know what I'm saying? Like, as long as you think that way, you can achieve so many different things. Cause you know what? I live by the belief that if you feel like you look hot, then you exude that energy and then you will be like the baddest bitch ever. Um, I think that everyone who watches me do my eyebrows probably, oh fuck me, probably thinks I'm stupid because I don't actually do my like eyebrows properly at all. So many people do their eyebrows so nice. Actually, no, I normally do them a little bit nicer than this, but like right now this is like just not the time for it, you know? It's just not the time to, if I do end up going out tonight, I'll just retouch everything up. How's that sound? How's that sound? That sounds pretty fucking good, Madison. I think that's a pretty good idea. Um, I also talk to myself. Oh god. I don't know, I'm one of those people who are like, oh god, that's not good with my eyebrows. What the fuck happened? Okay. A little bit of this here, here. So really not, oh god, what the bottom of the nose? Okay. What the fuck is the stupid thing for this? A little bit, a little bit of bronzer. Bronzer's not like my main thing. I don't really care too much for bronzer, to be quite honest, because I am very lucky that I've got pretty naturally uh, sharp cheekbones. What actually matters though is going to be blush, which is this Glossier Cloud Paint, which I have been obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with. So we're gonna get this, put it on here, and we just we rub. We rub, we rub, we rub. It's like, oh god, you know what? Technically you can really fuck this shit up if you're not careful. I am clearly also not being careful today, and I'm doing this so roughly right now. This is like literally 10 minute makeup. Ah! I hate not being, she's like, I'm just gonna have a workout. So I was like, shit, and I go, well, I am like half dressed, so I have to pick one or the other. I either go out looking like half nuts because I haven't done anything, or, you know, what else is gonna be? Fucking good enough. Okay. Use this on my hands so I can clean it. I also had some um, porridge. Thank God I had porridge. I am not going to be able to get my bagel or anything today because this is my plan to be completely around a bunch. Oh, you know, I'm going to spray my fucking face. <laughs> oh, way too fucking close. Woo! Dry, bitch, dry. Oh my God. I actually am having so much fun making this like just a week in my life kind of a vlog versus like anything else. Oh, okay. Oh shit, I'm bringing Okay. Here is the final vibes. I need to go out now. Bye. Sway for a minute, the play moves side to side. It is currently like 6.20. I just spent the last like hour and a half filming TikToks and doing like a cute little photo shoot of myself, which is already on Instagram. I'm posting the photos tomorrow. Um, so just did a bit, like, bit of content creation. Wasn't my really plan to do content creation right now, but I decided to film a bunch of TikToks. So I'm glad I did because I look cute, so why not? But yeah, so far my plans tonight. I, my friend who I met for coffee earlier said that she might invite me out tonight. So that's a potential plan. So I'll go out tonight probably. I'm gonna try and read now before everything else. I don't fucking know to be quite honest. I don't know what I'm doing. We'll find out. We'll do it. we'll figure it out together. Um but just gonna give you an update just to let you guys know that I kind of just spent the last hour and a half filming TikToks, which happens quite often. Quite often. But I'm feeling really good and I'm really in a good mood. Um I feel like, you know, I don't think I've said this, but like basically last week, like I, I was in a situation ship and the situation which ship uh, ended last week. And so I kind of took it a little, a little hard, 
but I'm doing really good now and I kind of feel back in my boss bitch energy and that's kind of the main thing. So, uh, yeah, fuck, I feel jittery. All right, so I don't have coffee often. I used to drink coffee like five times a day. Um, and then back in January of this year, I stopped. And now I only have it like occasionally when I'm out with people. I'm like a social coffee drinker now. The problem is that as a social coffee drinker, when you have coffee and you don't have coffee a lot, you actually feel the effects of coffee. Um, so I just feel like jittery. Ooh. Anyway, I'm gonna go have food. Okay. Hey, I hit my uh, annual 1k this morning. It's currently 11:42 uh, a.m. Well, technically it's like 10:42 because of daylight savings, but you know now it's 11:42. And it's me, Hidu. I hear. Um, I'm gonna go basically have a shower, and then I'm gonna go do some stuff, and I'll talk to you guys. Bye. All right. Good morning. I am about to head out to go grocery shop, buy my bagel and do my FedEx return. I'm in a cute little outfit. This is like one of my favorite tops that I wear like during the winter time because I can wear this since it's like long sleeve with a nice jacket um, and stuff. Uh, obviously, oh yeah, so update. I went out last night, um, hung out with some people. I finished one packed up pack, giving it four out of five stars. I actually really enjoyed the ending and I loved kind of how everything really went down. It's actually a really good Omegaverse. It is emotional and there is a trigger warning in it for death of a loved one and grief. And just also like content, like trigger warnings for like abandonment and like, um, things like that. So if, if those three things are triggers for you, do know that before going into it, but otherwise, really fun time really great i loved kind of the whole because there's not a third act breakup in this it's a middle of the book kind of situation and so kind of seeing the whole back half of like everyone's like healing journey it, it just ended up being a lot deeper than i expected for an omegaverse and i really like that and it kind of feels very different and i see this always about sarah blue's books where it feels like every single time she puts out an Omegaverse, it's always different from one of the other ones that she's done. Like it's always different. I feel like there are some authors who maybe write in the same genre and it always feels like kind of the same book in a sense, just a little bit different, but all of hers always feel so freaking different. And it's actually so impressive to me. Like I absolutely adore the shit out of Sarah Blue. Like she is an Omegaverse author that you need to read if you have not read from her already. And so, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna go out and do that stuff. Look at Zelda. Hi, BB. You're just chilling. You're just chilling. Yeah. You doing okay? Are you tired? Are you sleepy? Oh, you're so adorable here. Mommy's gonna come give you a little. Oh, you're so cute. I know. Did you miss me? You miss me so much. I know. That's why you're so adorable. People haven't seen you too much in this vlog, which is crazy because you're always around me, but I just always forget to film you because. I'm so used to you. I know, you're just the cutest and softest little baby ever. Whoa. All right, okay, I'm gonna head out and I'll catch you guys up later. Market and there's two things I want to do before I make myself breakfast because I'm starving. Um, first, we're gonna see exactly how these bagels look. It's always exciting. Sometimes they're normally pretty good, but they've actually not been that great lately. Um, ever since I last came back from Vegas, I feel like something's changed, but I don't know what it is. These look good. These are my good bagels. Look at these fishies. Oh yes, that one looks good. Now this one's, this one's a little sadder, but you know, it's okay. And I also picked up this, this drink that's like sparkling hibiscus. Have you ever seen this before? I don't know. I, it's, it's a drink cold. It says it's good antioxidants. I don't fucking know. Damn, well, anyway, I just thought it'd be fun to try, especially after putting alcohol in my body this weekend. I'm like, let's put something 
something else in it. I've never had a hibiscus beverage before. Have you guys ever had that before? I don't know, so taste test. Oh, it's weird. It's like tart. You know, it kind of reminds me of pomegranate juice to be quite honest with you. Tastes like pomegranate juice, flat out. Um, okay, that's interesting. Well, I'm gonna enjoy it though. I'm gonna go have breakfast, watch some TV, figure out the rest of my shit. <laughs> it turns out it's six o'clock and I forgot because of daylight savings that it's now light out. <gasps> it's six o'clock. <gasps> oh my God. And I've done nothing. I've been watching TV all day because I did not realize what time it was and everything got so thrown away. So like, I still, I still have these books here. That, like I want to try and read, but um, I, I'm a failure this week, clearly, which is fine. Cause you know what I actually feel like because of everything that's gone on and how I feel like I've kind of feel a lot better and a lot more myself and just a lot more everything than before. Um, I feel like I'm kind of mentally out of a reading slump, if it makes sense. Oh, I love you, 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 I love you. Um, which is kind of the main thing that I even care about is just the fact that like, I honestly was not even having any desire to read. And now I do want to read, it's just I got distracted by TV. But I'm gonna probably finish this movie. And then I'm gonna try a chapter maybe of each of these and then see how I feel. Maybe I'll do that now. Maybe I'll try, I'll try it. I'm gonna try a chapter now while it's still light out. I think that sounds good. Okay, let's do that. Okay, be right back. All right, so I just finished the first two chapters of Splintered Ice by Callie Mel, whatever, however you say that. Um, this is book six in the Wincoat series. I haven't read any of the others, but it's not at least so far proving to be an issue. So I read the first two chapters plus the prologue. This is following Sterling and Olivia. Sterling is on the hockey team. He's a junior and Olivia is his little sister's best friend who just transferred to the same college. The little sister was like, hey, do you mind looking after her? Cause she doesn't know anyone there and you're on campus, like blah, blah, blah. So far it's really easy, like really, really short chapters, um, really big writing. Like I took me like no time at all to read this. It seems like she's always had a crush on him when she was in high school and then obviously he left for college and you know, she kind of put her crush away, but obviously still thinks he's attractive. And then he has like always, he's like, he, he notices that she's attractive, but he's like, oh, but she's like my little sister's best friend. Like that's way off limits. Um, so it kind of seems like that's kind of the way this is gonna go. Like I said, it's really easy to read. I'm not like super hooked, but we'll see. Um, I'm gonna move on to first down next. Five minutes later. All right, so it's actually getting darker. It's just also been cloudy today, so like, mm, whatever. Um, but I just finished the first two chapters of First Down. I'm doing the first two chapters because it's dual POV each of these books, so it makes sense to do first two chapters. Anyway, this one follows all the names Bex and James. James has just transferred to Mickey University and he's like a star quarterback. Yeah, he's a star quarterback. Something happened last year and he fucked everything up at his old school and he has to retake the writing class he failed and he needs a tutor for it because he sucks at writing. He's like a math major. And then Bex is also a senior and she and her boyfriend just broke up over the summer but her because she caught him cheating but he's like not leaving her alone um and it turns out that he is on the same team so on the football team and what ends up happening is she tutors him in exchange for him fake dating her to get the ex-boyfriend off her back it's not bad so far she currently though is like the, her very first chapter for her she's all just like um i'm just like not like other girls like i like to stay in i have like all these priorities and you know I'm gonna be a small business owner and do this this and this which is like fine but it's like I don't know we'll see I enjoyed it but I actually weirdly enough like this was a lot easier to read so I'm kind of leaning more towards this because it feels a little more mindless um although I am invested in her best friend who we just met already like I want to I want to know more about her best friend to be quite honest with you right now and then I've read the first I've read the first two chapters of this before on kindle um, but I'm going to reread them now to see if I still feel the same way because actually I mean, it could be a good chance for this one. <laughs> a few moments later. Okay, so it's gotten dark enough that I turned on my lamp. I really like this a lot. I remember now exactly why I wanted to read this. I literally only read the first chapter and I was like, oh, the writing is so good. The writing is so good in this. And it's funny because I read a different uh, Rebecca Jen track before and I didn't like it. Um, that one was set during college, whereas this one is actually not, not college. Um, well, actually, I can't remember if she is. Uh, 
but he is not because he's in the NHL, but he never finished college. So he's still taking like one college class anyway, if that makes sense. Um, but he's not in college and he's like older than that too. But this is him, his romance with a girl who's the, his coach's youngest daughter. I don't know if she's in college, I can't remember, but I really like this. I'm really torn between this and this one. I, to be quite honest, I liked the first chapter of this more, but I haven't read any of the books by Callie Mill. And I, like I said, I think this one's not going to be as spicy and I don't feel like something spicy. So I think I'm going to continue on with this. But don't be surprised if I pick this up very soon because I'm super into it. And I will vlog when I read this for sure because that's some good shit. It's also seven o'clock. What the fuck? This whole daylight savings, love it. Throw me out of whack though, bro. Throw me out of whack. I'm not even hungry. Like the, why? Ugh, anyway, we'll figure it out. Um, probably gonna read a little bit more and then figure out what the fuck I'm doing, so. Sounds good. Hello, it's me. Um, I actually just started editing this vlog and realized I never actually closed it out. Of course. Um, so I'm here to close out this vlog. It was actually super fun to film this. Fun fact, Sunday night, I actually sat up until like four in the morning watching a new Thai drama. So like, was I productive? No, I didn't do anything I wanted to do. Um, I also started a different book than the one I said I was gonna start because I was not feeling it and was feeling mood slumpy, so. You know, life is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this little week in my life video. And if you did enjoy it, please let me know down below and I'll film more of these because I thought it was actually quite fun, even though I have two hours worth of raw footage, which is not, not pretty at all. It's actually quite ugly, but you know what? I'm gonna deal with it. I'm a trooper, I'm strong. <laughs> um, and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like it down below. If you wanna see more of me, please go to my channel and don't forget to check me out over on TikTok and Instagram. And until next time, Thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye.